limestone mountains, lakes, rivers, caves and rice paddies. A place that despite all its beauty still hasn't become overly crowded and will take only two hours to get from Hanoi. This is Ninbin and today we'll check it out. Ninbin is located around 100 kilometers away from Hanoi. You can get there by train, bus, car or bike. I chose the bike option, the distance seemed to be just right. The road is fairly easy, most of the time it goes just straight on along the railways. It's probably not the most majestic road in Vietnam, but about 30 kilometers from Ninh Binh it does become really pretty. The homestays area is sort of at the outskirts of the town, in the very close proximity to the limestone mountains. It is a very quiet place with some cafes and restaurants. It's not crowded yet, but Vietnamese government has big plans for it and soon it will become a very hot tourist spot. The first place I visited in Ninh Binh was Tai Vi Temple. It is an old complex that was built in the 13th century and served as a fortress. Late in the 19th century, it was turned into a revolutionary base during the resistance against French colonialism. Now it's just a peaceful temple, though still guarded by an old monk who speaks fluent French and can play several traditional Vietnamese instruments. The next destination is probably one of the most well known in Ninh Binh. It's called Hang Mu and it's a definite must visit. Hang Mu is a tourist spot at the foot of Mu Mountain, where locals build an eco complex with restaurants, cafes, and homestays. The top of the mountain is crowned with a small pagoda and a statue of a dancing dragon. They are really beautiful, but in order to get to them, you'll first need to climb 500 steps up. Not the easiest thing to do, especially on a hot sunny day. The climb takes about 30-40 minutes, but the view from the top is definitely worth it. After having a rest, I headed to the town center. The homestay's owner told me there was something special I had to see there at night. As I said before, the Vietnamese government is planning to turn Ninh Binh into a new tourist hotspot. One of its new tourist destinations is Hua Lu ancient town. 
It's a new complex located near Keelan Mountain and looks really pretty, especially at night. The next day I went to check out another place called Binding Pagoda. It's a huge place that will certainly take a few hours for you to walk around. The place is simply gigantic. Walking around this 7 hectares area may take hours, which is why for the tourist convenience there are electric cabs that can take you to any spot within the complex. The pagoda is fairly new, they completed it in 2010 and it feels like it's still waiting for the main wave of tourists to come. There are several temples to check out. The territory of the complex can be overlooked from the top of Bao Tap Tower, which goes over 100 meters above the sea level. This place holds several Vietnamese and Asian records, which probably serve as a good attraction for the tourists. I liked the place, it did impress with its beauty and scale, but then, personally, it kind of lacked authenticity. It felt like they built it to impress tourists with its size and records, but then it missed the vibe. Maybe it will change after time, but for now the place felt a little bit empty. The last place that I visited during my short stay in Ninbin was Bird Garden. Wikipedia says that this place is a home to 46 bird species with about 50,000 individuals. I saw only one species, white stalks, so I don't know, maybe the rest were taking a little break, but in any case the place is just lovely. First I decided to hike to it, there is a nice trail around the lake, but then when I realized it would take too much time and I hadn't brought any water with me, I turned back and went for a small boat tour. In spite of a rather big number of tourists, I quite liked the tour. It was so peaceful, the limestone mountains were simply gorgeous, it's really hard to spoil their view. To be honest, I wasn't really lucky with the weather on that holiday. It rained a lot, and when it didn't, it was scorching hot. That's why I didn't film a few interesting spots there. I like my video making hobby, but to a reasonable extent. Because of the weather, my holiday plan was basically to wake up as early as possible, make shots and then quickly run back to the hotel before it would melt or before it would start raining. It feels if I really wanted to explore everything in this town, I probably need a week or so. There's so much to do, there's so many rivers and caves to see, and that's not even mentioning some stuff that is further away, like a massive eco park 70 kilometers from Ninbin. But still I had a great rest, a total change of scenery, beautiful mountains and lakes gave me a chance to recharge and get ready for a hot summer. And at some point I'll definitely come back here again to film the rest. And this will be the end of the video, thanks a lot for watching, please do like, subscribe and leave the comment section down below. I'm curious about this thing, um, Hanong Bay and Ninbin, both of them are famous for their limestone mountains, but at the same time Halong Bay is getting so touristy and popular these days, so I'm not sure about going there. I haven't been there yet, mm, so should I? Uh, leave the comment section down below 
I'm very curious to hear your opinion. Well, for now, this will do. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.